Hey guys, it's just a quick little video. I saw a lot on my um, Radiant Finish mod that you guys wanted to see my build that I'm using for Radiant Finish. So I'm just doing a quick little video just to show that here. Now I have got one former on here, um, but this doesn't really need it. Um, so in the aura, I've got Steel Charge, which is going to buff my melee damage. I've got Overextended to increase the range of the ability. I've got Vitality, just for that little bit extra buffer. I've got Narrow Minded, which is going to work with Primed Continuity to provide a lot of extra duration and keep them blinded for a lot longer. Fleeting Expertise and Streamlined to make the ability as cheap as possible. And Radiant Finish. Now, I've also got Rage on here because occasionally you do get shot as well. So I've got this just so that it converts some of that uh, damage into energy, which means I can blind again. Now, as you can see, I've got 54% uh, power strength here. However, if you don't want to use the Rage, you can ch uh, switch it out for Intensify. I mean, you could also switch it out for Transient if you wanted to, but I find that the duration loss is too great. I don't really like that. I mean, personally, I would go with Rage, but Intensify works just as well, and that is definitely a good alternative if you want to. And this works pretty much with every single uh, melee weapon that I care to actually use, and the finisher damage was enough to finish off just about anybody from Tower 1, you know, anything on the star map, all the way up to Tower 4, this was enough to take down anybody. But if you want to go a little bit higher, obviously stick the Intensify on there, it really does help. Now I do want to say that obviously, as you can see in the corner here, I do have the Arcane Pendragon helmet on, which increases power strength at the cost of, I think it's health. Um, so, I mean, I do get an increase in the power strength that way as well. However, this is the build that I use for Excal and I find it to work extremely well. So a quick little thing from me. Barakatia the Void Trader has come again today. And one of the mods he's come with is the dual stat mod, Jolt. Now, in all honesty, I don't really want to talk too much about that. Because I have fairly strong feelings on the Void Trader. And the dual stat mod coming via the Void Trader has pushed a few too many buttons on that subject just right now. He's also come with the Prime Pistol Ammo Mutation and a couple of cosmetics. The Prisma Hecate Sindana and the Pyrus of Gartra. Out of these, I think only Jolt is an absolute must to pick up. The cosmetics are nice and the Sindana gives you another option for Arcanes, but it no means is it amazing enough to drop everything for. Now as promised, I know it's Friday, and that means it's time to announce the winners for the 3000 sub video. And the winners for the three PC Platinum codes are Curly Derpiness, AX193X, Miftahul Islam, and the winners for PS4 codes are Chris Clark and Slickster2000. Congratulations to all of you, please message my YouTube channel and I shall sort out getting those codes to you as soon as I can. As always guys, many thanks for watching, please remember to leave a like and subscribe, it helps me out a ton and I shall see you in the next episode.